What is up crafters? Today I'm going to be showing you how to whitelist your Minecraft server. I get a lot of comments asking me how to do it, so I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Anyways, let's get crafting. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you two different methods to whitelist your Minecraft server. One method is built in and one method requires a plugin. However, the built in method has one flaw that the plugin fixes. So if you can live with that flaw, which you might be able to, then you probably don't need the plugin. I recommend that you watch both methods because I want the watch time and also so that way you know in case you do want to use the plugin. All right, so I'm going to show you the first method, which is the built-in whitelist. So pretty much all Minecraft has this, so paper or vanilla, pretty much everything has this whitelist. So what you can do is slash whitelist, and then there are all your arguments. But the main ones are going to be add, so you can add a player to it, like myself. So I just added myself to the whitelist. And then we can also remove myself from the whitelist. And then let's say we want to enable the whitelist. This turns the whitelist on. So now any player that's not on the whitelist is not going to be able to join. Whitelist is mainly used for like putting your server into maintenance or if you don't want people to join or if you just have like a private server. And then we can turn our whitelist off so now anybody can join. And then finally, we can list all the people on the whitelist, which is Lego. I don't know why Lego is whitelisted. Okay, so here is method number two which is the plugin called Easy Whitelist. And what it does is it basically disables having to join the server so you can actually whitelist the player, which means that you'll have to turn the whitelist off. And it's also especially good for Java and Bedrock servers because like the Bedrock players have like the dot or the underscore in front of their name. So what we want to do is go ahead and click download now, and then we can download it. And now we just want to go to our server and upload that. And then we just want to go ahead and restart. Three days later. Okay, now that we are in game and we have Easy Whitelist installed, we can type the command, which is slash Easy Whitelist. And there are all of our command arguments. So it's basically the exact same thing as the vanilla whitelist. But like I said, this plugin, it just allows you to add players to the whitelist that haven't joined the server already. So yeah, not much explaining I really have to do here. It's pretty easy, I already kind of explained it. So, unless you really want me to explain it, but I'm not going to explain it because I already did explain it. So yeah, now you can basically just whitelist anybody to your server and turn the whitelist on, turn it back off, have fun with that. That's not really much fun, is it? Thank you for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. Please be sure to like and subscribe, it would really help me out, and you'll get lots of videos about Minecraft server development and just ways to make your Minecraft server better. Also be sure to join all three of my Minecraft servers, and be sure to join my support discord where I can help you out with plugins and server development and all that stuff. But until next time, I'll see you on the other side.